Welcome back to the studio, Marlies Horn, the Group Executive of Branding and Corporate Affairs at a Capricorn Group, as well as the Executive Officer of the Capricorn Foundation. Marlies, um, the group has just released your corporate social report. Firstly, before we start talking about that, what is a corporate social report? Um, jo, Marie, evening and thank you for hosting me. Um, yeah, we at Capricorn Group refer to it as our social value report, uh, which other companies uh, call this uh, corporate social responsibility report. Um, because for us, it's about the value that we create through our social contribution. Social contribution, of course, um, meaning giving back to the most vulnerable in communities and addressing various social issues across the Namibian and the Botswana yes. landscape. Yes, so our social value report actually covers not only the Capricorn Foundation's activities, but also the activities of our subsidiaries. That includes Bank Vintuk, um, Capricorn Asset Management and Intrepo, and then also in Botswana, our banking subsidiary there. Well, um, I had a peak view at the report already and extremely encouraging. You have a 33% increase year on year in what you've pumped into um, social projects in Namibia and in Botswana. Yeah. Give us a rundown of those figures. Yes, um, Jo Marie, it's uh, really heartwarming to be able to pump that amount of um, money back into the community. And, you know, for this past financial year, we spent more than 21.7 million in our communities. And, you know, we are fortunate to work for a group like Capricorn Group that um, is uh, making a profit, a good profits and we are able to plow that back into our community. So, um, as I said, that 21.7 million represents the Capricorn Foundation, but then also the CSR activities of our subsidiaries. Um, most notably, I think the viewers would recognize Bank Vintuk's uh, Cancer Apple yes, project. Yes, synonymous, absolutely synonymous over the years. We'll get back uh, to some of the projects in more detail in a minute, but we're talking about 32 projects that Capricorn is involved in. How do you go about selecting these projects? Yeah, Germany, that is, and that is just for the foundation. Yes. Uh, where we have 32 projects and that how we um, assess projects is really um, in line with our focus areas. We focus on job creation, education, and then also vulnerability programs. So if an application falls in that area, oh, and also health, um, we then also assess it against the, our SDGs, the Sustainable yes. Development Goals that we prioritized, and also if it's in line with the Rambi Prosperity Plan social progression pillar. Um, you know, so we cannot support all projects um, that apply, but we really try and focus on the ones that where we can make the biggest impact and that will address a, a societal issue. For example, education, um, uh, where we focus on early childhood development um, as our main focus in education. And coming back to the projects, uh, of course, we can't talk about all 32 of them for, for just from the foundation side. Um, but can you highlight some of the big ones? Yeah, the last year um, we actually launched our signature project, uh, the Capricorn Foundation Food Waste Challenge that we also discussed in the studio some time ago. And that was really um, to address the social issue of food insecurity, which is a major problem in Namibia. And through that a food waste challenge, we really created a lot of awareness around the issue of food waste. And we uh, were privileged to have NMH also on board as a partner. So, you know, in the new financial year, we will also look at more signature projects. And we are looking specifically at job creation for the youth um, and also vocational skills training. Um, but, you know, uh, like I said earlier, there are a number of social challenges out there and we have to be very focused on 
what we um, support and contribute to. And you mentioned the food waste challenge. Uh, that didn't just create awareness, but um, some of the solutions that came out of there, the innovation behind it, and the empowerment of a group like Capricorn then throwing its waste behind these projects, uh, it's simply astonishing. Yes, and like I said, you know, we had um, a number of partners that came on board to support us in that, and that is another aspect that I would like to just emphasize, you know, Capricorn Group um, is really committed to collaborate with like-minded organizations, and we recognize that we cannot do this on our own. So um, in the past uh, three years since we established the foundation, we've really been on, um, on a mission to find um, partners that, you know, have similar uh, views and priorities as us and also values. Um, and also uh, non-governmental organizations that we can support and um, enable them and empower them to do what they do in the communities. For example, in Margo Day, they are one of our implementation partners. And through Imago Day, we support a number of projects, um, but you know we just don't have the resources to do it ourselves. So you need partners um, that can uh, collaborate with you and help you to implement your projects. And a listed company like Capricorn, uh, the fact that you are transparent and open about uh, your corporate social welfare or your investment in that area this is becoming more and more important in the reporting and uh, the investment landscape yes um, this social value report that we launched today is actually preceding our integrated report launch uh, which will be published next week when we announce our annual financial results um, and you are right more and more uh, shareholders but also investors look at um, your contribution to society as a whole not only through your community projects but you know are you paying your taxes are you looking at your employees are you um, you know focused on local suppliers or not you know where is the money going um, the value that you create for your profits where is that um, value going so we are very um, transparent in terms of how the value that we've created, how that benefits all our stakeholders, like in this case the community through our social value report. I want to ask you a personal question. As um, a woman, how important is it to you to be the executive officer of the Capricorn Foundation? Uh, jo Marie, it's really a passion for me. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous interview with you, I, um, I've been now with the group 27 yes. years and I've been fortunate to um, establish the Cancer Apple project 23 years ago and also established the Bank Vintuk Social Investment Fund, which evolved now in the Capricorn Foundation. So um, it's a it's always been a passion of mine and I'm very privileged that my company allows me to live out that passion and that we can really make a difference. And, you know, when you visit these projects, um, it's just amazing what the women out there um, does with so little in terms of, you know, having a pre-primary set up in a, in a shack, um, but it's neat. Um, the children are... Um, you know, disciplined, and from the outside it just looks like another a shack, but inside it's love and care and attention, and it is those examples that, you know, encourages me to, um, to seek more of those um, success stories where women are really, um, despite the challenges they face, that they are making a big difference. In the coming financial year, um, will you sort of um, stay on the same course or are you looking at uh, deviating or um, including some new projects? Um, we will definitely stay within our focus areas but 
um, <clears throat> where we had a big focus on the issue of food waste in the last year, we really want to look at the issue of youth unemployment and just try and unpack and, in, in, and explore um, you know, what the opportunities are to address that, um, that issue and you know, to find um, partners and other organizations that are like-minded that we can uh, collaborate on and to address, try and address the issue. We're certainly looking uh, forward to seeing what you get up to in your next financial year. Of course, if you want to have a look at the report, it's a sizable report, uh, you can find it on a Capricorn uh, Group's website and you just go to Capricorn Foundation, there's mm. an, a little icon there and you can get the entire report there. It's visually stunning and uh, the information contained in it is certainly uh, inspiring. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Jamari.